Making a difference. This is 27 News at 6. It was just really neat to, to think that it was done on a day that when you love somebody, that, you, that I was able to actually give them a part of myself. A true story of love on the day for love. A daughter gives her mother the gift of life. Good evening, everyone. I'm Greg Jeske. And I'm Krista Dubill. Every Wednesday, we feature a person in our area who is making a difference. Mitch Weber joins us from UW Hospital, where the person making a difference today traveled to Madison to donate a kidney to her mother. Krista, they're both resting fine tonight after the transplant today. Several family members actually wanted to donate a kidney, but it was a daughter who was able to give, give the gift of life to the woman who gave life to her. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Jerry Davenport spends more than three hours on dialysis in order to survive. A colon infection, and that's what took my kidneys. While I was in the hospital, I also quit breathing six, five times. And after the fifth time, they said, you're going to have to get the tray. We thought we were going to lose her. Chris Price is just one of Jerry's six kids. My mom um, has such a zeal and a zest for life that I have seen in none other. Since starting dialysis four years ago, Jerry's medical condition has taken its toll on more than just her body and soul. When I thought about doing life without my mom, I just, I just thought that's not something I want to do. I'm going to check and see if I can give her a kidney. Chris, like many well, of her family members, wanted to donate a kidney to Jerry, yeah. but for several reasons, it just didn't work out until Chris questioned her blood type. I said, no, Mom, I think I am. I think in, in high school, I remember, you know, being tested. So I came down here and did all the testing, found out that I actually did match, and then we kind of went from there. The surgery was first scheduled for November until Chris got sick, and the transplant was rescheduled for February 14th. I waited a second. I go, February 14th? That's Valentine's Day, and I just... I just wanted to cry, but I could give a kidney to my mom, you know, on Valentine's Day. And I just thought how, how special that was for me, for somebody that I love so much, to be able to give actually a part of myself to her and be able to pro prolong her life. Yesterday, we were with Jerry on a very significant day. Yeah, this will be my last treatment unless something don't work. The night before their surgeries, mom and daughter were only focusing on a positive outcome. No, no turning back. This is something that, uh, you know, I really wanted to do. It's just love her to death. There's nothing like family, right? They started the surgery and that everything is going well. The Davenport family spent all morning waiting. Chris's surgery was first around 8.30. Then Jerry went in around 10. A couple hours later, the family received word. Both of them went just fine. He said Chris did very well in surgery. And she's doing very well up till this point. So just keep praying. Everything's going to be good. I think every day is Valentine's Day. Every day that someone donates. Every day that someone makes that, that gift. And it was the only kidney transplant scheduled here at UW today. Now, we couldn't talk to the patients because Jerry was still in ICU. But, Krista, they will both, mother and daughter, will be spending the next couple of days at the hospital recovering. And although we want to hear from them, we completely understand. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mitch. Yep. Chris will have to wait two weeks until she can go back home to Michigan. And now for the finalized part of our people making a difference. If you know someone in your community making a difference, go to our website at WKWTV.com and click on the Making a Difference banner for the nomination form.